Question 2b, part 1. Express 3 sine x plus 4 cos x in the form a sine x plus alpha, where alpha is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi over 2. Starting off with the identity, 3 sine x plus 4 cos x is identical to a sine of x plus alpha. Apply a compound angle expansion to the right hand side, which then gives us the identity 3 sine x plus 4 cos x is identical to a multiplied by sine x cos alpha plus sine alpha cos x. Next, expand the brackets on the right hand side, which then gives us 3 sine x plus 4 cos x is identical to a cos alpha sine x plus a sine alpha cos x. Notice that I've switched the sine x and the cos alpha around, which will make equating coefficients of sine x and cos x a little bit easier. So the next step is to equate the coefficients of sine x and cos x. So the coefficient of sine x on the left hand side is identical to or equal to the coefficient of sine x on the right hand side. So a cos alpha must equal 3 and a sine alpha must equal 4. And I've written these here as two equations. So a cos alpha equals 3, a sine alpha equals 4, and I've called them equations 1 and 2 respectively. Next, we solve equations 1 and 2 simultaneously to find the values of a and alpha. So taking equation 1 and squaring it, and equation 2 and squaring it, and adding those two together, we get a squared cos squared alpha plus a squared sine squared alpha is equal to 9 plus 16. And factorising out a squared, on the left hand side we get a squared multiplied by cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha which equals 25 and cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha equals 1 because it's a Pythagorean identity. So we have a squared is equal to 25 and taking the square root of both sides we get a is equal to 5 and it's the positive square root since a needs to be greater than 0. Now from equation number 1 we have a cos alpha equals 3 and we found the value of a with a equals 5 so substituting a equals 5 into equation number one, we can then solve for alpha. Hence, five cos alpha equals three. Dividing both sides of the equation by five, we get cos alpha is equal to three over five. Therefore, alpha is equal to the inverse cos of three over five. So I've left it in exact form. Therefore, three sine x plus four cos x is identical to five sine of x plus the inverse cos of three over five. Part 2. Hence, or otherwise, solve 3 sine x plus 4 cos x equals 5 for x greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. Give your answer, or answers, correct to two decimal places. From part 1, solving the equation 3 sine x plus 4 cos x equals 5 is equivalent to solving 5 sine of x plus the inverse cos of 3 over 5 equals 5. Dividing both sides of this equation by 5, we get sine of x plus the inverse cos of 3 over 5 equals 1. Taking the inverse sine of both sides, we have x plus the inverse cos of 3 over 5 is equal to pi over 2. Subtracting the inverse cos of 3 over 5 from both sides of the equation, we get x equals pi over 2 minus the inverse cos of 3 over 5. x equals 0 0.6435 and so on, and that rounds to 0 0.644, correct to three decimal places.